Hey, good people, and welcome to our Holy Week, week series. If you recall, last year we spent the entire week of Holy Week last year, and we chronicled through each day and talked about the importance of every day. Uh, most of us have just exited the Lenten season. Today would be the first day that the fast would be over. And for others of us, we're going to go the entire 46 days, and Silent Saturday would be the last day of your fasting. Whatever you've done, I want to encourage you this week to take some extra care in your spiritual life. This week is called Holy Week because we take the time to remember the ultimate sacrifice that happened. We would not be Christians if, if Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday didn't take place. We would not be Christians if Christ had not died because there is no remission of sins without the shedding of blood. But the week, the week that led up to those events is a, an important week. Today is Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday talks, it causes us to remember the day where Christ rides into Jerusalem on a colt. And when he rides into Jerusalem on a colt, the people lined the streets. They were so excited to see Christ, not to know that they would betray him and that they would be calling for his head just a few days later. But the people were so excited to see him that they waved palm branches. Now, the reason that's so important is back in the day, back in Jesus' day, when men would go to war and they were, they were, do their great exploits and they would come back with great honor and valor. The people would line the streets and they would wave palm branches because they had been victorious, that they had stood up in their place and fought for them. And as a way of homage and a way of honor, they would wave these palm branches. And much in the way that we throw flowers down as a sign of honor, as we put feet at the, at the feet of a bride or the feet at the, at the feet of royalty, they would put the palm branches down for them to come across as they walked in uh, down the aisle or they walked down the city or down the streets. And so the people lined the streets. And as they lined the streets, they lined the streets for Jesus to come through. And they were hailing him as this great victorious leader. Now you have to remember, there was a lot of confusion as to whether he was really the Messiah or as to whether he was really God in the flesh. But they knew he was a good guy and they knew that he, he was doing great things. And so some people had already kind of gotten an inkling that he could possibly be a new king, that Israel possibly was going to get a king. And you remember, there was a lot of prophecy that said that Jesus or the Christ would reign on David's throne. They thought maybe he was coming into town to reign on the throne. Maybe, finally, our leader has come and this Messiah has come. And when that is not what he came to do later this week, some people found a little bit of disappointment. But I want you to remember that it, it all started with a walk. As he began to walk into his destiny, although his destiny, destiny on Friday seemed grim, he had to begin with a walk. And so this week, I want to encourage you to, in, to inspect your walk. As you're walking into the things that God has called you to walk into, as you're walking into your destiny, as you're walking into these new seasons and these new places, if we're called to be like Christ, we have to examine our walk. Are we walking boldly into the direction that Christ has called us into? Are we walking according to our own knowledge and our own information? Because Christ had full understanding that this was going to be his final week. His disciples didn't get it. Men didn't understand it. But he knew full well that he was walking into what was going to be chaotic, what was going to be painful, which was going to ultimately cost him his earthly life. But he walked with great vigor, great passion, and he carried it out to the very end. And so this today, as you meditate and you, you study and you think about Palm Sunday, I invite you to examine your walk. Because we, we will never be Christ, but we, we are supposed to be like him. And if we're walking in his likeness and in his image, are we walking in the direction that he's called us to walk in? I'll see you tomorrow for Holy Monday. Y'all be blessed.